In the 1830s, Charles Darwin and the crew of the HMS Beagle explored the astounding biodiversity of the Pacific coasts, islands and seas. Darwin's observations led him to develop a revolutionary new scientific theory, the evolution of species through natural selection, or survival of the fittest. I can see no limit to the amount of change, to the beauty and infinite complexity of the co-adaptations between all organic beings, one with another, and with their physical conditions of life. 175 years after the voyage of the Beagle, a vast and mysterious new environment has formed in the waters of the Pacific. A soup of floating plastic now covers an area of the Pacific three times larger than the United Kingdom which begs the question, who or what will be fit to survive in the environments we are creating? Individuals less suited to the environment are less likely to survive and less likely to reproduce, while individuals more suited to the environment are more likely to survive and more likely to reproduce. The individuals that survive are most likely to leave their inheritable traits to future generations. Who or what will be fit to survive in the environments we are creating?